Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into Novio Pharmaceuticals and their recent announcement of their Phase 1 trial results. Also, if you'd like 3 free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, we see on Tuesday, Novio Pharmaceuticals announced that their coronavirus vaccine, NO4800, was deemed safe and well tolerated in all 40 participants in their Phase 1 clinical trial. So, this is very positive news, guys. But we do see the stock dumping around 10%. Now, their phase one trial results of their NO4800 coronavirus vaccine enrolled 40 healthy adult volunteers from 18 to 50 years of age from two sites around the US and had some funding from the CEPI program. Innovio said that 94% of their phase one trial participants demonstrated overall immune responses around six weeks after they were injected with Inno4800. And then through eight weeks, we see that the company also said that Inno4800 was well tolerated without having any adverse effects. Now, three participants in this trial had COVID-19 in the beginning of the trial's efforts. So they do have a few positive results regarding someone who's priorly infected with coronavirus. Now, the other really positive thing that came out of Innovia Pharmaceuticals Inno4800 coronavirus vaccine test was that they also basically announced today that they're joining the the Trump administration's Operation Warp Speed, which is the national program under the Trump administration that's striving to provide an effective vaccine for Americans by early 2021. Innovio also announced that in its preclinical animal studies that their Inno4800 drug also provided full protection against the coronavirus vaccine in the lungs of mice. So that's also a nice step in the right direction as well. We also know that last week that Innovio did receive 71 million from the US Department of Defense in regards to their technology that also helps distribute vaccines safely and easily by the same person themselves. Well, one of the main reasons that we do see that Innovio is dropping today, in my opinion, is the fact that the news was already priced in, right? Many analysts apparently are also not raising their price targets because again, they think that the risk to reward right now is relatively high based off the fact that the stock had a huge run up over the last week. And I typically agree with this guys, because again, we did see the stock rise immensely ever since I made the video when the price was trading around $16, $17. And this is also kind of a situation where we saw with Moderna, where they recently released their phase three trial results, but have all of a sudden been trading sideways and going down over the last few weeks. Again, this is kind of a buy the rumor, sell the news. So we are seeing a lot of investors take profit at this $30 region and we are seeing a huge rejection of around 10% today. Now let's get into the stock chart. So guys, getting into the chart of Innovio Pharmaceuticals, we see over here that I was calling for a breakout on this day. So I was calling for a price around $21, $22 for Innovio Pharmaceuticals and that's the price that we closed at, right? And we see that today we have a huge bearish engulfing candle over here. And yes, it's green, but we do see that it popped from around the $31 mark. So I do think that if this price does close under this wick area around the $27, $28 mark, I'm going to be more bearish on Innovio Pharmaceuticals. And I do think we'll retest back into this region. Now, I think this region is a very important region, guys, because when looking at this area, we do see that a lot of buy pressure did come in on these days. And I would be looking around this kind of $21 mark to act as a potential level of support for a bounce in Innovio Pharmaceuticals because we do see this 20 exponential moving average creeping up. Now, my other downside target would be around this $16, $17 mark if we see a huge amount of investors taking profit over the next few days because it does align nicely with this 50 exponential moving average on the daily as well. And it is the previous breakout of the ascending triangle formation that we saw over here on Innovio Pharmaceuticals. So I would expect a retracement back into this region. And if we were to take a trade and you guys want to take a trade in the middle of this region, guys, know that your risk parameters would be relatively wide. And we'd probably have to take around the 10% risk to reward ratio because there is a possibility that we can close this gap. But the upside would be nice because we could see another bounce back into this region of around 20 to 30%. But again, these are very risky trades, guys. And in my opinion, if you're going to invest in Novio Pharmaceuticals because you really believe in their products and their vaccine candidate, well, it might be better to hold long term because they are a part of Operation Warp Speed now. And they are a more serious candidate when it comes to the coronavirus vaccine and the possibility they'd come up with a vaccine right now is much higher now that they've passed the phase one trial and they have joined the Trump administration's Operation Warp Speed. Now let's get into the weekly chart. And guys, looking at the weekly chart, the one thing that I do like about this region over here, if we do see a nice pullback is again, this region does represent the breakout of this ascending triangle formation. And we have this 20 exponential moving average on the weekly chart creeping up into this $16, $17 region as well. So I would like this area of confluence to play out on the chart of Innovio Pharmaceuticals because we have weekly support trending in this area. So since we have all this bullish news guys, and we have the weekly support trending near to the daily 50 exponential moving average, I would expect this region around the 17 to 16 and a half dollar mark to act as a nice level of support because this was a previous level of resistance. And typically in classical technical analysis, we like previous level of resistances to turn into previous level of supports. So this area is a nice area of confluence that I'm looking at at the chart of Innovio Pharmaceuticals. 
And I do think we could see a nice bounce off of here if we trend in this area in the near future. So overall, guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.